welcome to another recap of Celebrity Apprentice. Last week, Lisa Rinna was fired. Probably because she didn't have her puffy lips anymore. <sighs> Meatloaf and Gary got into a little disagreement because I guess uh, Gary did not like what Meatloaf had to say about him in the boardroom. And Star was pissed, too, because she didn't feel like anybody had her back. Uh, Meatloaf got to deliver his check for 20000 to Painted Turtle, which was very touching. It was nice to see that. Uh, but this week the challenge is for Camping World. The celebs are going to have to create an outdoor camping experience for Camping World <laughs> using RVs. Um, some of those RVs are pretty sweet, let me tell you. I could definitely uh, do some camping in those. I, would, I really don't consider those camping, but it's like portable hotel room. Uh, the PMs this week, Nikki Taylor and Gary. <laughs> Gary was totally creepy to the CEO from Camping World. He went up to him and he, uh, he pressed the flesh of his hand and he said, From my heart to your heart, it's free. <laughs> eh, where's the hand sanitizer? Alright, so the men, uh, they wanted the more upscale RV, so they took like the tour bus one. Uh, they were supposed to negotiate, but Nikki Taylor was pretty much a pushover. She wanted the family uh, ones, so there was really no contest there. So the ladies came up with the slogan, or should I say Nikki came up with the slogan, 21st Century Camping World, except that nobody told her it was the 21st century. She had this mental block that it was still the 20th century throughout the entire episode. You think after, like, the first... Five or six times she would have realized it's 21st century, but no. Dion, she's old, and Nene Leakes keeps trying to cut her slack for being 70 years old. She's also a little bit crazy, <laughs> or maybe she's just crazy. I, I think it's a little bit of each, but uh, she really did not appreciate Nikki being the PM because she didn't like Nikki. Uh, the ladies, when it came time, to furnishing the RVs, they went to the little uh, outdoor tent sale that Camping World had, and they were trying to buy up everything, and the people there were like, no, you can't buy that. <laughs> what is the point of, the, of having a budget, then, if you can't buy what you want? Uh, Nikki basically abandoned her team, and she went off with Hope to go do the graphics, and everybody was like, well, what the hell do we do? And Star, Star Jones, what the hell were you wearing? Was that some kind of weird Humpty Dumpty riding outfit or something? I'm not trying to be mean, I just want to know. Uh, Latoya. <laughs> she didn't realize that a doorknob must be turned to work. These celebs, I, I don't think they know how to wipe their own butts, half of them, so... Dion, she was paying her bills on the phone at one point during the episode. It was really weird. You know, I think... Dion's such a semi-big star that she just thinks she could do whatever she wants to do. And nobody's complaining uh, yet. So, she's getting away with it. On the men's team, Gary, what are you doing? I don't even know if Gary knows. He seems so distracted and confused and just not aware that he was supposed to be doing anything. John Rich was pissed. Uh, he came up with a little ditty for Campin' World. And Jose Canseco and Richard Hatch were all like dissing simple country folk and John Rich did not like that at all. Those are his fans. Uh, Gary was not good with the budgeting, he gave out some money and then he realized he didn't have any more left so uh, Mark McGrath had to uh, call up the person who he was getting his hedges from and uh, they told him that they would deliver it for free and Gary thought that was pretty good because uh, you know, if it was a gift. <laughs> Not that they were getting it for free, that something went wrong, so they got a gift. All right, um, Ivanka, Gary grabbed her and uh, was telling her about his anachronisms, about, you know, like, fear and team, and I remember all those from The Surreal Life. Apparently, uh, Gary could write a whole book on these. Maybe he has already, I don't know. I'm certainly not going to read it. Uh, Gary and Jose, they were just sitting around most of the task, and... It was just really weird. He was, Gary was also coming up against uh, Lil John because Lil John had some ideas and Gary just didn't want to hear it. The ladies focused on the inside of the RVs and the men pretty much focused on the outside because that's the way it is. 
men are more interested in taking care of the outside things in a house and the ladies are more interested in feathering the nest on the inside. It's just nature. Alright, so for the presentations, Dion and Nikki got into a little verbal argument during the presentation. And Dion confided in one of the other ladies that Nikki's a hussy, a real mamby pamby. And I might I might have to agree with that because ugh, Nikki's all fluffy brained and like, isn't life wonderful? And I don't get it. <laughs> Is it model mentality or what? So the ladies uh the guy the CEO liked how they decorated Latoya knew the product. I mean, she knew um, how big the TV was. But they were very lacking on the signage on the outside. The men? This is where John Rich had the CEO after he sang his little song. He loved the Camping World song. I wouldn't be surprised if he's paying him to use it right now. And Gary? Team. Together. Everyone achieves more. <laughs> it's so true, Gary, but you're so creepy about it. Uh, Meatloaf, he didn't know there was a TV behind the little door on the outside of the RV. It's kind of embarrassing. Alright, so it's boardroom time. Nikki is such a duh. That's all you need to know. She's a model airhead. And Dion? Nikki actually had the balls to call out Dion and say that she was inappropriate. And Marley agreed with her. Marley ratted out Dion as well, but, uh... She kind of said, you know, well, she's good when she's given a task, but, well, her interpreter said that. Good when she's given a task, but she can't do much on her own. Uh, I beg to differ. Richard did not like Gary as a leader. Gary is deaf, and Marley totally hooked him up and got him some hearing aids, so now he doesn't have to be all like, what? <laughs> I know the feeling, Gary. I'm a little deaf in this ear here, and, uh, that's right where Maddie sits, usually. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so Gary's great. Everyone agrees, but he's, he's great as a person, but not so much as a PM. And Gary thought that Lil John was the weakest on his team. So you know there's going to be a little discussion after the boardroom. And the men win, despite Gary sucking. I mean, that's how bad the ladies must have been if they won with Gary as, pri as prime minister, I was going to say, as project manager. Uh, and they actually, Gary actually won 40000 20000 for regular and an extra 20000 from Camping World. So his charity is the Center for Head Injury Services. Because, of course, you know that Gary had a very bad motorcycle accident because he wasn't wearing a helmet. All right, um, it's time for Nikki. And this boardroom lasted about five seconds because she was like, everyone did great. So I guess I sucked. And the Donald, of course, was only too happy to say, boom, you're fired. <laughs> so she, like, busted out of there, too. Everybody was like, wait, Nikki, wait. And she was just like, I have to go. All right, next time, they're going to have to make a 30-second commercial. And all the usual suspects are going to be sucking, as usual. So till next week, much love.